Good morning. I'm Assistant Commissioner Rick Shipkowski with the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security. And I would like to welcome you to today's Three Star of Tennessee Award and Homeland Security First Responder Recognition Ceremonies on this 18th anniversary of the attacks of September 11th. At this time, I would ask all attendees to silence their cell phones. This ceremony is being videotaped and photographs are being taken. We will make photos of the ceremony available to all attendees. Additional photographs may be taken at the conclusion of the ceremony. Please stand for the presentation of the colors. Advanced colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Retire to colors. Please be seated. Again, I'd like to welcome our honorees and guests. I'd also like to thank Governor and the First Lady Lee for allowing us to use this wonderful facility. Today we will have two ceremonies where we will recognize Tennesseans who have dedicated themselves to public safety. The first ceremony will be for the recipients of the Three Stars of Tennessee Award. This award recognizes law enforcement officers, firefighters, and medical first responders who were either killed or suffered a career-ending injury in the line of duty. The second ceremony will honor public safety officials selected by their Homeland Security districts or their state agencies who represent the outstanding law enforcement and first responder personnel who work tirelessly to keep Tennesseans safe. There are too many special guests to recognize individually. However, we have elected officials, judicial officials, public safety leaders, and most importantly, our honorees and family members in the audience. We thank each of you for attending. I would also like to introduce the leaders seated at the front row of the room, immediately to my right, to my right is Governor Bill Lee. Next to him is First Lady Maria Lee. Uh, next to him is Chairman Becky Massey. And finally, my boss, Commissioner Jeff Long. At this time, I'd like to introduce Jeff Long, Commissioner of Safety, Commissioner of the Department of Safety and Homeland Security, and Tennessee's Homeland Security Advisor. Prior to being appointed Commissioner of the Department of Safety and Homeland Security, Commissioner Long was elected Sheriff of Williamson County in August 2008. He has served in the criminal justice field for the past 44 years as an Assistant District Attorney for the 21st Judicial District, Special Agent in Charge with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, Investigator with the 21st Judicial District, Arson Investigator with Tennessee Fire Marshal's Office, Captain with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, and Federal Hospital Police Officer with the Veterans Administration Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Please join me in welcoming Commissioner Wall.
Thank you, Rick. Good morning, everyone. Eighteen years ago, attacks took place in three locations that killed almost 3,000 Americans, including 411 of whom were first responders who attempted to help their fellow citizens. 9-11 was a defining moment for Americans and the nation. It was an attack against our innocence. It's one of those moments in time where we will always remember what we were doing that day and where we were. And many of us could not get away from the television to watch the unfolding of the acts. Anniversaries such as today are important, but not only do they allow us to honor the fallen heroes, but they serve as reminders and they re-energize us. As unprepared as we were for an attack 18 years ago, once the attack, we as a nation, a state, and as Americans took action and remain much more secure today than ever before. Attacks have occurred since in a myriad of overseas locations, Great Britain, Spain, France, Belgium, Turkey, India, Pakistan, and others. And recently, here in the United States, in the state of Tennessee, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Also San Bernardino and Orlando. However, many more adversaries have tried to attack us and been disrupted through our diligence. In large part, our success in, in disrupting attacks has been from the work of our great state and local and federal law enforcement partners, as well as our military services overseas and locally including the nearby Fort Campbell 101st Screaming Eagles. Tennessee is significantly more prepared than we were 18 years ago. We've organized, trained, and equipped our first responders in law enforcement to unprecedented levels of expertise and capability. We've received approximately $300 million in Homeland Security and Infrastructure Protection Grants that have provided the equipment and training that has allowed us to exercise the capabilities. Information and sharing and intelligence analysis in Tennessee has greatly improved and is centered through the Tennessee Fusion Center that's jointly obligated by the TBI and the Tennessee Department of Safety. Tennessee has truly become a team of teams in the war on terror with state, federal, local, and private sector partners working today and together on a day-to-day -to -day basis. Please, let's never forget Please remember the sacrifice of those who perished 18 years ago. Be proud of our resolve as a nation and be proud of the Tennessee public safety members being honored here today for their dedication and service. It is my great honor to introduce our keynote speaker today who really needs no introduction. Each one of you know him, but he is our great governor of the state of Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee. Thank you, everybody, for, for attending this morning. And I, I, will, I will only say there, there are a lot of folks in here to recognize, but I want to limit that to uh, those first responders and the families of such um, who are in attendance today to honor those who have fallen and those who currently are serving. Uh, you're our honored guests, and we are... Um, honored to be able to be here to celebrate and to remember and to honor. Uh, as, I, as we said the Pledge of Allegiance this morning, <clears throat> some moments when I say the pledge are more meaningful than others, this morning was one of them. Um, we, we know that we live in a nation that is one nation under God, indivisible, and yet um, we have many in the world who would like to divide us. We saw that on 9-11, 19 years ago, and it continues to the day. And yet, um, by God's grace, we can live in this nation under his protection um, undivided. And that's, that's, that's a little bit about what today is for me. It's, it's celebrating this incredible nation that we live in, 
celebrating, and, and that includes bittersweet, tragic memories of those who sacrificed their lives in order that we can live in the freedoms and the protections that we have today. Um, to those of you who are here, family members who have actually lost a loved one because of their sacrifice in the line of duty, most of us in this room can't know, and I feel inadequate to express, uh, understanding of what you have gone through. Uh, it is bitter, certainly, and my prayer is that the nearness of God be sweet, even in this day for you as you remember. But it is a bittersweet day, and to those who have sacrificed, we um, owe a tremendous debt of gratitude. Um, we wouldn't live in the country that we are in if it were not for the sacrifices of men and women like that. Nevertheless, that does not negate or erase the pain and the, and the, the, the leftover of that for the families. So we grieve with you today, but we also honor those lives and we, and we celebrate and honor the lives of those of you who will be awarded today for your acts of bravery and courage in the line of duty. I've read the bios of every person and every brave act that, um, that constitutes the awards that are gonna be given out today. And we are proud, we are proud of the men and women who continue to put their lives on the line and who serve uh, in the capacities that you do to make all of us safe. I, I, I think I took for granted in a lot of ways the, um, the lives of those in law enforcement and first responders prior to becoming the governor, like probably most citizens do. We recognize and acknowledge, but maybe my new awareness has clearly been heightened. Uh, for, one, for one, I'm the recipient of protection of folks who I know uh, their, their, their whole job is to, protect, is to protect and to serve. I feel that more than ever before. But I've also had the bittersweet, and I, I, I emphasize bitter, but sweet honor of being involved in three different uh, funerals in my first nine months of men who have uh, been killed in the line of duty. And you do that one time, And you remember, and you realize like never before, that it is putting a life in harm's way in order to serve us. So I, um, I can't express any more fully than that my gratitude for those of you who are here, for those of you who serve. Maria and I both are deeply grateful. She will spend the day uh, with her team Going to, uh, going to first responders locations all over the city and in an attempt to show, the, to show folks just locally what they mean to us and, and we invite people all across the state of Tennessee to do the same. So we're honored to be a part of this morning ceremony. We're really honored that it's here. Uh, it, it truly is bittersweet, but it's a part of reminding ourselves of how unique we are as a nation, of how courageous we are of why liberty and freedom matters, of, and of the cost that has to be paid sometimes in order for us to enjoy that with which most people in the globe do not enjoy. And most do not have the, the, the uh, privileges that we have because of what we're celebrating, honoring, and bittersweetly remembering today. Thanks very much for being here, and thanks for the honor to be a part. In 2014, Chairman Becky Massey, under her leadership, passed the legislation that set up the Three Star Award. She had heard about the award out of Texas, as I believe will be her story, 
and decided that Tennessee had three stars. And it was necessary that we have the same type of, of uh, ceremony and also show our love and appreciation for those who have given the ultimate sacrifice and also done heroic acts. Uh, this ceremony is large in part to her because of her diligence in pursuing the legislation. She has law enforcement relatives. I know we've talked about it. Uh, she has a great support for law enforcement and first responders in general. And it's my honor to introduce to you Chairman Becky Massey. Thank you, Commissioner. And excuse my voice. I've um, had laryngitis for about five days, so I'm, I'm going to do the best I can. Um, but thank you, Governor and First Lady, for being here. It makes it a lot more special when you're able to make the time to be here. It, it just is very uh, special for the families to have you here. And I want to thank, uh, Commissioner, your staff that worked so diligently in, in pulling this together. Um, when we get into the awards, uh, we have several members of uh, the General Assembly that are here with me today. And they will be coming up when each of their recipients are, are receiving their awards. So what they usually like me to do is, is tell just a little bit of the history of this award. So as he said, uh, my daughter and granddaughter live in Texas, in Austin. We're trying to get them back to Tennessee. But in 1913, the week of 9-11, I was visiting. And I uh, had visited a, one of the big churches there. And they said Governor Perry had been there this week to present the Star of Texas. And I go, of course, as any curious person, I went and Googled it. And I go, ooh, this sounds really special. We need something similar to that in Tennessee. Came back, started meeting with, I think I talked to Director Roush, who was my police chief then, and, and my firefighters and my FOP and folks. And then I came over and I met with uh, um, Commissioner Perkey at the time and several from Homeland Security. And they, everybody was just really excited about it. So we moved forward. We, we, we tweaked the Texas bill a little bit. But uh, we moved, moved forward. Ryan Haynes, who was a House member then, was my co-sponsor in the House. And this does not happen. This happens with resolutions, but never with bills. But every single member of the General Assembly signed on as a co-sponsor. And that shows how important it was to everybody that we do this. Um, you know, I tell people, I always tell people that Texas wouldn't exist without us, so it was okay to borrow a little something back from them. But uh, I've, I've got a new one. According to our renowned Senate historian, uh, Frank Nicely, uh, Tennessee used to have four stars, but we gave one to Texas. So, you know, I, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. But um, anyway, um, Steve, Zach, Nick, Jason, and John. What are some words that to me describe these men? Courageous, strong, trustworthy, servant, protector, America's finest, negotiator, enforcer, selfless, dedicated, but to me the main one is hero. And it says it all. Every day in Tennessee, brave men and women put on their uniforms and report for duty with the knowledge that they may pay the ultimate sacrifice, um, the ultimate sacrifice and price to keep their community safe, our communities. Today, we are honoring the sacrifices made by these five Tennessee heroes. No words can adequately express our gratitude and admiration for these brave men who dedicated their lives to selflessly serving others. The three stars of Tennessee is a small token of our appreciation, but I want the families especially to know we will never forget the sacrifices they've made. Thank you for making time to be here today.
Police Officer John Anderson, Metropolitan Nashville Police Department, is being posthumously awarded the Three Stars of Tennessee Award for his selfless service to the citizens of Tennessee. On July 4th, 2019, Officer John Anderson was at an intersection in his patrol vehicle, headed to assist another officer when his patrol vehicle was violently struck by another vehicle on the driver's side. Officer Anderson lost his life at the scene of the crash. Officer Anderson had served with the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department for four years and was a member of the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Receiving the award on behalf of Officer Anderson is his mother, Jennifer Hine. District Chief Jason Bird, Fayette County Fire Department, is being posthumously awarded the Three Stars of Tennessee Award for his selfless service to the citizens of Tennessee. On February 18, 2019, District Chief Jason Bird was involved in fighting a fire at a large two-story residence. He had already dragged a large fire hose to a hydrant because the fire engine couldn't get any closer. He then proceeded to get a 35-foot ladder from the engine to access the roof of the residence. While holding the ladder for another firefighter, Chief Bird went down. Despite immediate advanced life support aid being administered, Chief Bird was pronounced dead in the emergency room. Chief Bird had been a volunteer firefighter for 22 years. Receiving the award on behalf of District Chief Bird is his wife, Jamie Bird. Officer Nicholas Scott Gallinger, 
Chattanooga Police Department is being posthumously awarded the Three Stars of Tennessee Award for his selfless, selfless service to the citizens of Tennessee. On February 23rd, 2019, Officer Nicholas Scott Galinger and his field training partner were dispatched to check a manhole cover that had water flowing from it due to heavy rain. While doing so, Officer Galinger was struck by a vehicle. His partner administered immediately immediate care. However, Officer Galinger died in the trauma center a short time later. He had served with the Chattanooga Police Department for one month. Receiving the award on behalf of Officer Galinger is his father, Barry Galinger Sr. Sergeant Steve Hinkle, Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, is being posthumously awarded the Three Stars of Tennessee Award for his selfless service to the citizens of Tennessee. On February 23, 2019, Sergeant Steve Hinkle was responding to a residence to conduct a welfare check. Upon arrival, officers were met with gunfire. Sergeant Hinkle was hit and transported to a regional medical center for treatment. Sergeant Hinkle died from his wounds on February 26. Sergeant Hinkle had served with the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office for 27 years. Receiving the award on behalf of Sergeant Hinkle is his son, Audie Hinkle. Paramedic Zachary Zach Pruitt, Medical Center Emergency Medical Services, Jackson, is being posthumously awarded the Three Stars of Tennessee Award for his selfless service to the citizens of Tennessee. On November 30th, 2019, paramedic Zach Pruitt was caring for and transporting a patient from a hospital in Jackson to one in Nashville. The ambulance was involved in a motor vehicle accident and paramedic Pruitt and his patient lost their lives. Paramedic Pruitt had served as such for four months and was also a veteran of the United States Army. 
Receiving the award on behalf of Paramedic Pruitt is his wife, Kim Pruitt. Please join me one more time in recognizing these individuals have made, who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the citizens of Tennessee. At this time, Governor Lee and Senator Massey will present Governor's Certificates of Achievement to our First Responder Award recipients. This portion of the ceremony will honor public safety officials selected by their Homeland Security Districts or their state agencies who represent the outstanding law enforcement and first responder personnel who work tirelessly to keep Tennesseans safe. Dispatcher, Dispatcher Jessica Donahy, Bristol Police Department, is being presented a governor's certificate of appreciation for her diligence in repeatedly calling back an individual who had called 911 and appeared to be in distress. She was able to direct police officers to an approximate location of the cell signal. Officers found the caller, had hung herself with a cord, and were able to remove the cord, saving the individual's life as a result of dispatcher Donahue's actions. Officer Ethan Grantham, Knoxville Police Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for Exceptional Support to Homeland Security District 2 for his professionalism and dedication in identifying, conducting the traffic stop, and taking into custody two heroin suppliers who were linked to an overdose death. His continuing actions working with the Overdose, overdose Death Task Force and Organized Crime Unit led to significant amounts of cash, drugs, and weapons being seized. <laughs> Investigator Wendy Zalkowski, Oak Ridge Police Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 2 for her professionalism and volunteering to be the exclusive officer in the department to investigate allegations involving elderly and special needs adults. She has taken on several significant cases and worked with other agencies to implement a senior care action network.
Lieutenant C.J. Davis, Firefighter Zachary Gilrith, Lieutenant Aaron Hicks, Captain Hank Smith, and Dispatch Supervisor Becky Waller, Bradley County Fire Rescue Department, are being presented a governor certificate, being presented governor certificates of appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 3 for their coordinated and heroic actions involving entering a burning residence to rescue and resuscitate an unconscious woman, saving her life. That woman, Miss Lindsay Kaywood, and her parents are in attendance today also. Accepting the award on behalf of Captain Smith is Lieutenant Hicks. Paramedic Timothy Booher, Pickett County Emergency Medical Services is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 4 for his leadership, teaching, and commitment which have immeasurably enhanced the emergency medical capabilities of the Upper Cumberland region of the state. Firefighter Ronnie Hummel, Clay County Fire and Rescue Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 4 for his rapid and professional response when he performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation on a man who he had witnessed collapse, saving the man's life. Captain Michael Wilkerson, retired, Metropolitan Nashville Fire Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for continued exceptional support to Homeland Security District 5 for his demonstrated technical expertise while teaching hazardous materials and methamphetamine lab courses to first responders of the seven counties of the district. He is also teaching these subjects to the teachers and students in Metropolitan Nashville Public Schools. Officer Brandon Hendricks and Officer Chevelle Lucas, Clarksville Police Department, are being presented Governor's Certificates of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 7 for their rapid actions when they discovered a man bleeding profusely after a nightclub shooting. They applied a tourniquet and performed first aid, stopping the bleeding and saving the man's life. Sergeant Shanna Grice, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for Exceptional Support to Homeland Security District 7 
for her rapid response involving a suspect she was transporting to jail that slumped over with a bag of fentanyl in her mouth. Sergeant Grice's rapid actions in clearing the suspect's airway enabled her to be transferred by ambulance, saving the woman's life. Director Johnny Cheatwood, Lawrence County, E911, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 8 for his professionalism and planning response for events such as tornadoes, floods, mass casualty, and school shootings, as well as implementing a myriad of improvements for the E911 Communication Center. Director Cheatwood was unable to attend today. Director Larry Glass, Lawrenceburg County Emergency Medical Services, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 8 for his dedication and expertise in planning and preparing for mass casualty events, enhancing the district's overall capabilities. Officer Brandon Wheeler, Dyersburg Police Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 9 for his rapid actions during which he responded to a shooting and found a man bleeding profusely. He applied a tourniquet and performed first aid, stopping the bleeding and saving the man's life. Deputy Whitney Cobb, Madison County Sheriff's Office, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 10 for her excellent crisis negotiation skills, which she applied when dealing with an armed, potentially suicidal individual who she was able to engage in conversation until other law enforcement officers could subdue him. Deputy Brandon Massey, Madison County Sheriff's Office, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 10 for his rapid actions in clearing the airway of a choking nine-month-old infant, saving the child's life. The Shelby County Fire Department and Millington Fire Department are being presented Governor's Certificates of Appreciation for exceptional support to Homeland Security District 11 for their actions during which members of their departments rescued a 17-year-old boy who was trapped inside a burning residence. Accepting the certificates are Shelby County Fire Chief Alvin Benson and Millington Public Safety Director Gary Graves.
Keith Watson, Memphis Police Department, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for Exceptional Support to Homeland Security District 11 for his expertise in developing, coordinating, supervising, and executing the comprehensive plans for the numerous large-scale events with as many as 150,000 attendees. He oversees hundreds of officers during these events and designs <coughs> tactics to ensure these events are secure from a myriad of threats. Special Agent Andrew Graves, Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to the state of Tennessee for his professional leadership while assigned as case agent for coordinating TBI's investigation of the murder of seven people in Sumner County. He ensured a thorough investigation was conducted and effectively coordinated the activities of multiple law enforcement agencies involved which was particularly challenging with the suspected killer hiding nearby in the woods. Trooper John Judge, Tennessee Highway Patrol, is being presented a Governor's Certificate of Appreciation for exceptional support to the state of Tennessee for his heroic rescue at risk of his own life of a man who is trapped inside a burning vehicle. Please join me one more time in recognizing all of our distinguished honorees for their selfless service to the state of Tennessee. <laughs> Ceremonies like this don't just happen. Anybody seating in this room has uh, dealt with Candace Tate, who pulled this all together. Um, let's give Candace a round of applause for making this happen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony. Uh, the photographer will remain if you wish additional pictures up front. Thank you, Governor and First Lady Lee, for your time. Thank you, Chairman Massey. Thank you, honorees. <laughs>